Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we are recording. And it is Thursday night, the 15th of November. And um, I don't know, we can hang out for a few minutes before I introduce you, or should I introduce you? <laughs> whatever whatever feels good to you. I'm I'm here no matter what. So if you want to talk about what you're excited about or um, anything new that's happening with you, give everybody kind of a little check-in on what life is throwing your way. We can oh, get started. Right, in a couple minutes. right, right. So, um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Life is just exciting period. And um, I got a box of oils and blends in from Kim uh, about two weeks ago. And I just need some education on learning how to share them with customers coming in the store or friends asking me about them. And so therefore, um, you know, I haven't even opened them every day, Kim. This is terrible. But I do. I have printed all of your affirmation cards and I have those ready to go and ready to share. And so I'm excited about the class tonight. Um, so I just want to introduce Kim. Alexander, who we have literally only met in Utah. And it's mainly because um, a friend of mine, Jana, is so excited and follows Kim on her Instagram page. And um, it was so funny watching her this year in, in Utah because there was a long line. Kim has a following. Everybody loves Kim and, okay. and her oils and her oil blends. So, uh, Kim, you do live in the state of Washington, correct? I do. I am California born and raised. And about five years ago, I decided, you know what? I need to go to the forest. I need to go live uh -huh. on a few acres and just kind of have a more peaceful, slower paced life. And, you know, went through a pretty... Um, massive divorce and uncoupling and learning how to co-parent and, and new relationships. And this has just been a massive season of growth for me the last few years. And, you know, I have to believe in divine timing and everything was meant to unfold, but Washington's where I live. I don't see myself ever leaving. I love it here. Even with the gloomy months, I'm very much at home in the woods <laughs> away from everybody. <laughs> Do you know, and speaking of the woods, um, this morning I was listening to uh, Laura Jacobs talking about um, uh, what is our free oil with the BOGO? Northern so, Escape. Northern Escape. And it assists people with um, rejuvenating, regenerating, kind of like going out in the woods. And she was discussing how um, bad driving electric cars are for our energy and our bodies. I've got a bunch of people at church and relatives that drive those things. And I didn't ever comprehend this. So you might touch on that tonight. I don't know. Welcome. Welcome everybody. So glad you're all here. And so, um, I did introduce Kim a little bit ago and she's from Washington, originally California. Um, she loves creating blends and has a special blend every month, but she's got eight special blends that she's going to tell us about tonight. And I believe you've got two children, correct? Yep. Two kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I would say, since we're recording, go for it, Kim. Okay. Well, my name is Kim Alexander. I have been using essential oils and sharing all things holistic for many, many, many years. I would say almost two decades. I have um, Reiki certifications, crystal healing certifications. I am a certified massage therapist. I've just been in all things wonderful and weird for a very long time. And I felt right at home when I found essential oils because plants are just really, really powerful, not just for our physical bodies, but for our emotional and our mental health. And that's kind of the message that I carry. And I think that's why I've been so relevant for so many years and have a big following is that I really love to support and take care of um, people's emotions, including my own, because I, I have a lot of things going on. I, I don't have things all figured out by any means. Um, perfection does not exist in my, in my realm. So um, it's just been one of those journeys that always is unfolding, you know, and I love that we're always um, a student of life. 
Um, did you want to mute everybody, Bobby? Just I think you know, everybody... I'm just looking. How do I do that? If you tap on, I think like Susan's not muted. There should be okay. a way to uh, mute. There everybody. you go. I got it. Okay. okay. No, no problem. It. it just sometimes it can get like um, with mm. the connections, it can just sound a little bit hectic. Um, but I have created these awesome blends for a very specific purpose. And so I kind of wanted to share a little bit about some of how um, essential oils interact in our bodies and our emotions, and then take you through a nice little tour of what you're going to have available um, at your store and people can come in and try them. But I've, I've been blending with essential oils for a very long time. I've always been very curious all of my sun and moon signs and rising signs and my um, even my zodiac sign is all rooted in earth and fire signs. And so I'm very much at home mixing things together. There's definitely an intuitive connection to plants and crystals. And so this is sort of my love child and my wheelhouse of just really helping people redirect their mindset, mood and emotions, because we all can get very caught up in life and seeing how things have really become topsy-turvy over the last couple of years, just living in a post-pandemic kind of world and everything that we are constantly giving that's fear-based. It's really hard to just be a human. <laughs> so I find myself taking several watering hole stops throughout the day, depending on what um, life brings me. And these have just been my saving grace. And I'm really excited that you're going to have them available to you and people in real life. I'm used to existing online and having, you know, a lot of people really support what I do, but it's another experience to have the oils in person and to try them and to really see what resonates with you. So I'm just kind of excited for your feedback and, and how things are going to go for you and your store. And I'm just grateful for the opportunity to kind of be a part of it. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm kind of a visual learner. So let me know if you guys can see this. Is that, can you guys see that thumbs up, Bobby, if you can see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So what you kind of see on here is just a, an overall snapshot of the eight blends we have. They're all infused with um, Reiki intention. Reiki is just basically a nice way of saying I'm a giant tuning fork. So I'm able to kind of make sense of the energies around me and just neutralize them so that things are very harmonious. Um, especially if you're an energetically sensitive person like I am, that can be kind of handy. Um, I buy a lot of like vintage and antique things. And so we sort of do a cleansing process and a Reiki process to just kind of make sure that everything is harmonious before it, you know, stays in my home. And so these blends are, are definitely part of that where I take a lot of care. They're all handmade, small batch. I do everything from the label design and application to the blending to the practice of putting the crystals in and just kind of giving everything a nice once over blessing before they go out. So they're very near and dear to my heart. I spend a lot of time in production each month creating them for our online customers and now for the six wholesale shops that we are in in just a month, which has been kind of crazy with that transition. So these are going to be hopefully your new best friends <laughs> because they have been mine for many, many, many years. Um, there are three ways that we use essential oils. There's the aromatic, the topical, and the internal. Aromatic is the one that's most common just because it's easiest. You can smell an essential oil. You can put an essential oil in a diffuser. You can apply them to your hands and then smell from your hands to get both topical and aromatic. But this is the safest, easiest, probably most effective way to use essential oils. When you start to get into the topical applications, now you're becoming more intentional with your oil use. And we're gonna talk a little bit why topical use is really powerful when trying to elicit a physical or emotional response. And then these oils cannot be taken internally, um, but they are. there are um, ways of using essential oils internally with the guidance of others like myself or Bobby, but this is just a great sort of once over. You can use them these three ways. And so in order to understand um, how do essential oils scientifically help or work or interact in the body because it's you know I think we get a lot of flack in our community um as like being hippies or placebo effect or you know kind of scoffed at but the reality is without essential oils and plant medicine we would not have survived it's you know the plague doctors would stuff their masks with lavender to prevent infection you have um, a lot of people using essential oils and plants and those defensive properties to 
reinforce the body system's natural reactions to the outside world. We just would not have survived things like the plague or common colds without plant medicine. And so um, it's no different when we talk about our emotions. There's definitely a scientific, a physiological process that happens. And so I wanted to break down really simply what happens when you smell an essential oil, because people come to me and they say, well, all right, if I'm feeling anxious or if I'm feeling overwhelmed or panicked, how is smelling an essential oil going to shift or change that? How would rolling on an essential oil and smelling it really give me that profound of an impact? And so as you inhale an essential oil, the molecules of the oil go to the back of each nostril where the molecules then attach to the receptors on our cilia hairs. That's why I always tell men, you know, be mindful of the nose hairs you trim because you do need them for transporting these olfactory messages to our brain, you know, and also the cilia hairs prevent infection by sort of grabbing debris and dirt and dust. And so, you know, if you have any men that you love in your life that just overdo it with the nose trimming, if you just tapered it back a little bit, they, they may find, they may see a, a perk in their health and their overall immune function. But once you smell an essential oil, those cilia hairs um, are attached to receptors and they start to send signals. These convert to nerves that send the odor information to the olfactory bulb of the brain. And then this bulb directly communicates with the amygdala. Um, and there's other brain structures that support it like the hippocampus, but our amygdala is the center for our emotions. And it links everything um, emotionally that we have learned, including short-term memory, um, our trauma, our emotional holdups, our baggage, our pain. And the only way to unlock the amygdala is through the sense of smell. And so it can become really powerful when you start to link emotions and aroma. Um, and I'm gonna give you an example. So my dad was a, um, a very popular man. He has six kids from four different women and there wasn't a lot of time for him to spend with us individually. And the few moments he and I shared together where it was just us, he would take me to the pier um, and we would eat churros. And so the smell of churros reminds me of my dad. And then the emotion of not seeing him, missing him, whatever's going on in our life. Whenever I smell a churro, I get very emotional. And most people are kind of taken aback by this because they're like, this is a delicious sugary breaded treat. <laughs> like nobody should be having an emotional, you know, come to Jesus moment when you are just trying to enjoy something like a sweet treat. But for me, it reminds me of my dad. And it can transport, a smell can transport you to a certain place, time, or experience. And so we can do this good and bad. Um, you know, the once positive smell of a churro now brings forth sadness in my brain and causes an emotional reaction that's negative, but we can also do this with positive associations. And this is why using these blends for specific purposes is a sort of way of training your brain to process the emotions and to create these neural pathways that you can then rely on and that will get you from A to B much quicker. And so um, our brains are really powerful at processing our olfactory senses and attaching an emotion to it or creating a pathway for it. And so a lot of people ask me, well, how do essential oils work? Like I, I'm supposed to just smell something and my brain's supposed to react and all of a sudden, you know, things are rearranged and I'm healed and that's, that's the end of it. And that's only a small part of it, but what makes essential oils possible for us to use is if you look at a plant cell and an animal cell, they have a lot of the same structures. We have ribosomes, we have mitochondria, we have cell walls, we have DNA, we have our nucleus. And so because we share so many cellular features, we can assimilate and uptake the supportive properties of essential oils because we are at our bare bones minimum, you know, building blocks of life, very, very, very similar. And that's why we can use you know, essential oils when we're not feeling well, when we need to improve our sleep, when we need to fix something on our skin, when we need to relieve some tension in the body, we can utilize those supportive defensive parts of the plant into our bodies very easily because of the structures that we share. And so this is just kind of a nice visual to let you know that we are, you know, kind of cut from the same cloth. And so the other question that comes up is, you know, why do we need to focus on our, our emotional and our mental health? And I think more than ever, you know, we are, we are wearing ourselves down very thin. We are taking on more than we typically should, and we have less support than we ever have before. And so most of the time, most of the day, we are relying on our own resources, our own wherewithal, our own experiences. And so 
What I like about this visual is that we do this throughout the day over and over and over. So we have a life experience. Maybe you're a stay-at-home parent with animals. You are the one doing it all. You're taking care of the finances. You're cleaning the house. You're cooking the meals. You're doing all the errands. You're taking care of the babies. You're shielding anything else that comes your way. And we can get really overwhelmed. And so, you know, this shows a woman uh, looking distressed, babies crying, dogs bothering her. She's on the phone. Life is just not in motion. It's not cohesive. It's agitated. It's difficult. It's challenging. And so then we have our three brains kick in. We have to process this life experience that's trying to throw us off our path. And so our brain's like, okay, I got to figure this out. But the heart says, oh, I'm feeling overwhelmed. And the gut says, this is never going to change. I feel stuck. This is now my cycle of life. And then we have a physical reaction where we begin to kind of disconnect from our bodies and our brains start to have head tension. We start to feel conflicted feelings in our heart. And then we feel unsettled physically in our stomach. And so our three brains are not cohesive. But when the end of all of this chaos, we now have a belief system about our life that it's always going to be hard. It's normal to feel low and blue. It's normal to feel anxious. It's normal to feel overwhelmed. We begin to just accept the chaos as part of our normal existence. And what was the biggest part of my healing journey was I finally realized it's not normal to be this unsettled in a day. It's not normal to be this worried. It's not normal to be this, um, have such low self-esteem. Like I really need to improve my mental and emotional health so that I can start to feel better about the life that I'm living, the position that I'm in. And this is where essential oils become really, really powerful tools. And um, what I love to share with folks, especially when we're in person doing markets or even online, just educating is the constant reminder that essential oils are very, very fast and effective. Um, most over-the-counter options take 45 to 90 minutes to kick in, whereas essential oils move in and out of the body very quickly. So within 22 seconds, the molecules reach the brain. Within two minutes, you can detect essential oils in your bloodstream. And after 20 minutes, that one single oil application will have affected every single cell in the body. So for example, when I'm feeling anxious, um, I know that if I can just hang on for 10 to 20 minutes, I will be a different person because of the oil application. And when you put it in that shorter time frame window, life doesn't feel so scary. And for me, when you know anxious feelings hit, it's just this urgency to get back to normal. I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to be stuck here. I don't want to have these thoughts. I don't want to be uncomfortable. I want to just feel normal. And so you're just waiting for it to be over, knowing that you have a time bound sort of opportunity to where if I can just hang on, go outside, walk around, move my body, say some affirmations, use some oils, do the things that reinforce feeling good within 20 minutes, I will have definitely gone past the threshold and be in that sort of uh, arena where life starts to improve and we're not stuck in that cycle of having negative reactions to life and then creating negative belief systems about our lives. So essential oils are super effective. These are my babies. <laughs> These are the, the eight blends. I, I do, like Bobby mentioned in the beginning, I love to intuitively create a new blend every month. I feel like there's always so much going on in the world that we need things beyond these, but these eight cover the majority of the mental and emotional issues that we all encounter throughout life. And so they all serve a different function. They're all accidentally the perfect shades of a rainbow. Um, I love rainbows. If, if you don't know that about me, 37 and I am still a giant child, but um, I'm a, a huge fan of color healing. I really believe in the power of um, getting something bright and colorful in front of your, your eyes to really shift um, our mood and emotions. And I think we're just naturally drawn to color. You know, even if you're like me, kind of gloomy and kind of doomy, and you wear black most days, I still feel much better and I live my life in color. And so it was really important to do that. One of the questions I get often is, how do they have this color? And originally we added the mica, which is a mineral. It's most commonly found in eyeshadow. So we use a cosmetic grade mica. It's also to encourage people to shake up their rollers. Um, essential oils will settle at different weights. And so the crystals in the mica act as a great 
sort of mixing bowl for the rollers before you use them. And once it's fully lit up and that beautiful radiant color, you know it's ready to go. And it kind of encourages a good practice of how we should use our essential oils. So we're gonna kind of go through each, each of the eight. And at the end, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, and I'm just really excited for you guys to kind of get to know these. These are my little besties in a bottle and they've been monumental um, for helping me heal. We've had, you know, in our little online shop over 24,000 sales over the years and just a ton of great feedback from people over 4,000 five-star reviews and just lots of love and lots of support around these little creations. And I'm excited to share them with you so that you can have hopefully a similar experience. I have yet to find anyone who doesn't like my blends. <laughs> they may not love all of the aromas, but I've never encountered somebody that's ever had anything negative to say over the last few years. And I'm pretty proud of that because we live in a society where folks will let you know <laughs> if they don't agree with you or if something is not up to par for them. So let's just get to it. Um, the blend that I want to start with is MVP. This one is a really beautiful shade of like a mauvey pink. And the aroma is very warm, very sultry. It's as close to a natural perfume as I've ever created. And it contains essential oils like frankincense, patchouli in a small amount. I know everybody's afraid of patchouli, but it's one of the best, um, warmest, most earthiest mid-tones you can use. And it needed to be in the blend because of its warming of impact and its empowering effect. So patchouli is in there, not to a distasteful um, aroma, but it's it's in there. Um, ylang Lang, sandalwood, rose, magnolia, coriander, osmanthus, amaris, balsam fir, cinnamon, and grapefruit. So you can see how this one is very spicy. It's very bright. It's very happy. It's very uplifting. And the goal for this one is to bring more confidence, more self-love, more self-worth, more compassion, um, soothing big emotions. When, when I made this blend, it was at a time in my life where I just didn't feel worthy of anything. I didn't feel worthy of success or relationships or people's love or support. I felt isolated. I forgot that I'm an important part of other people's lives and that my ideas and my thoughts all have value and that the way I show up in the world is really important, that people need me, I need me. And so if you're someone that's been struggling with your identity or feeling like you're worth anything or that you are deserving of anything, this is one of the best blends that you can use. And it smells incredible, almost like a natural perfume. So I've seen a lot of um, people swap out their perfumes for this blend because of the way that it comes together and the, the different um, arrangements of the essential oils. And this one is infused with rose quartz and clear quartz. And the affirmations are printed directly on the bottle. So for those moments where you're comparing yourself to someone else, or maybe, you know, if you're in our doTERRA community, your meta power results aren't as epic as somebody else's, or, you know, we're heading into the winter months where we all kind of get a little fluffier and we compare ourselves to everyone else's holiday events and what we're able to actually show up and do. Um, these are kind of the months where we are hardest on ourselves and MVP is right there to support you um, learning to love yourself through all of the seasons. And the affirmations that go with this one are, I am worthy of love and abundance. I happily give and receive love. Happiness begins with me. I know my worth and I am confident and self-assured. And so this becomes a really great um, asset for anyone that just needs um, some self-worth, some self-love, some confidence, and that perseverance and that strength. This one just really, I use it all the time still, and I've, I've been using this one for years. My second favorite, my favorite safety, just because I'm an anxious person, but my second favorite is holy. This is one that appeals to men and women alike. MVP is definitely more of a feminine aroma, but um, my partner loves using it all of the time. He's actually, that's his favorite right now. But holy, it was designed, I was never actually intended to release this blend. Um, it was gonna be something I made for just me because I really wanted a way to deeply connect back to my body and create a better cohesive connection between our, our minds and our bodies. So. If you have any kind 
kind of miracle morning practice. Maybe you get up early before everybody else and you stretch or you say a prayer, you set intentions, you pull cards, you read from the Bible, you um, just spend some sacred time pouring into yourself. This is when I use holy. I use it before I need to set intentions or connect my mind and body together. And this one is very sweet and smoky. I tried to bottle my grandpa on this one. I miss him very much. He was a very stoic man, um, very gentle, very sweet, but also just this mountain of a guy. And he always just had this kind of sweet and smoky aroma. He used to buff up his leather shoes. Um, he had magnolia trees on his property. He always kind of smelt like the outside. He was just this rugged, amazing guy. And um, I really missed him. And I, I tried to bottle him the best I could. And this one makes people cry on the spot <laughs> all the time because it just invokes all of the emotion. It's got um, the smoky aspects are the vetiver and the frankincense. And then you have this really sweet, robust aroma of the magnolia for compassion. You have um, jasmine for purity and balance. And then you have a really nice, um, rich, warm Madagascar vanilla. So when you bring these all together, it just creates this wonderful calming and grounding experience. It supports connecting your mind and body back together if you feel a little bit detached. It's really great for emotional balancing and in times of stress. This is the one I use when I feel angry. This is the blend I use when I need to become more present, when I need to calm down. I love using holy before bed because of the vetiver in there. It's, it's really soothing. Uh, we've had quite a few parents come back and tell me that their kids have slept through the night for the first time in years because of this blend. So if you know any little vampires, this one might be the trick. The florals soothe the big emotions, the vetiver and the frankincense are really grounding and anchoring. So this one just kind of hits both sides of the spectrum and is very, very soothing. Um, it's very peaceful, it's very warming. It's just really cozy and delicious. And we use this one all the time. My kids love this one too. And then we kind of move to a much different side of the rainbow with 777. This one is liquid gold. It's sunshine in a bottle. Um, it's perfect for those times when maybe you feel like you are off your path or maybe things are not coming together like they should. Or maybe you just feel like you are discovering new parts of yourself and trying to hone in on the previous versions of you that you want to keep. And that's kind of what these last few months of the year are all about is that introspection and um, really trying to set our intentions and our mindset for the new year. So this blend, I use it, especially here in Washington, where we're kind of in the gloomy gray months. Um, it's nice to have a burst of sunshine. So this is a really bright energy, energizing blend. It's got cypress, lime, lemon, wild orange, rosemary, coriander, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, clove, jasmine, damiana, vanilla, and sandalwood. And so it's got everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> it's infused with citrine and ametrine crystals. And this one is amazing for enhancing your personal positivity. Maybe you've got a friend who's a little Debbie Downer, um, or they've just been beaten down by life a little bit and they need to stand back up and shine. This is a really great um, offering for that. This blend helps you realign your mindset and your attitude. I am kind of a stickler for pessimism and criticism. So, you know, if my if people are complaining and negative about things, that really gets under my skin because I know that's not the way through things. It's okay to have emotions, you know, and it's okay to, to feel things and have the full spectrum of, um, you know, feeling angry, upset, disappointed, whatever. But we need to do something with that in a positive way. And to me, 777 really takes the pain that we're experiencing, the rut that we're stuck in, and it transmutes it into something positive with some momentum. So if you've been needing some extra motivation or pep in your step, or just to elevate your brain function and get back to a more optimistic, magnetic way of existing, 777 is a wonderful blend to use. Um, and the affirmations are, every day I attract miracles. I am full of bright, radiant energy. I'm not afraid to walk my path. I follow my heart without fear, and I love who I'm becoming. So this is kind of a metamorphosis blend, especially if you're in a cocoon stage right now, trying to figure out where you're going and what life is bringing you. And, and if you're going to stay on this path or do something different, 777 is a great blend for just decision-making, pivoting, and getting back into your groove. Then we have magic. 
Magic is our halfway point. Um, this is one of the blends that I made just, you know, like Bobby mentioned, I do have a, a pretty large following collectively. It's like 70,000 people. And with that, there's a lot of comparison that creeps in. There's a lot of times when I feel like I'm not doing enough or I'm not doing as well as this person. I'm not, you know, hitting these goals. I'm not capturing this. I'm not growing fast enough. I'm not, you know, the, the knots all kind of creep in. Um, so I made magic for those times when you feel less than about yourself. And this one helps you remember that you are already amazing and everything that you need is already within you. And it helps us develop a positive self image. It amplifies our unique energy and it enhances our attraction and possibilities. And what I love about this one is there are some energetic protection qualities about this one. Sometimes when we are out of our magic, we are people pleasing. And when we're out of our magic, we are saying yes, when it should be a no. And when we're out of our magic, we are putting our time where it doesn't belong. And this blend just helps me recalibrate what's important. And it's got a really delightful and invigorating aroma to it. It's very cheery. It's very positive. Um, it To me, it's very delicious. It's very sweet. It's got green mandarin, um, vanilla, jasmine, tamanu, nutka, cedarwood, arborvitae, clove, ginger, litsia, ylang-ylang, cardamom, lemon eucalyptus, and infused, it's got rose quartz and peridot. So it's that really pretty pink and like lime green um, combination of crystals. And the affirmations for this one are, there are magic in every moment. I have magic within me. Life happens when I stay in my magic and my uh, darkness helps me shine brighter and I'm an infinite magical energy. So if you just forgot that you're a unicorn, this is the one to use. It's very uh, motivating. It's very supportive. It's very encouraging. It's very positive and it helps you um, really settle into um, those good feelings. One side benefit um, was my partner <laughs> discovered that when he was a groomsman and a wedding, he used magic every couple of hours because, you know, there's just a lot of demands when you're a groomsman, the pictures, the photo ops, the, you know, rehearsals, the dressing, the this, the that. And he's not that kind of man. He's, he's very rugged. He's an athlete. So he doesn't really like doing any of the fancy things. And so um, he used magic to keep his mood positive, to keep him pleasant to be around, um, to help him really enjoy his time um, versus loathing and not liking the things that he had signed up for. So that was very helpful. The Splend Sage that we're going to talk about next is the newest blend that was actually um, inducted into our blend line. We had seven blends up until recently. Um, last month was the first month that we offered it again. But Sage is a blend that is, it's like an energetic exorcism. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, many of us, you find yourself using things like essential oils and crystals because you're a healer, you know, or you've got some trauma that you're trying to um, undo or support or heal. And so, you know, with that comes some sensitivities to the world. You know, I have a hard time being around large groups of people where it's really loud. I'm very sensitive to people's energies and I can take on things. Um, and we're going to talk about empathy um, in the next couple of slides, but I needed something that would just help me slough off any lingering energy that doesn't belong to me or that I may have taken home with me. You know, whenever I have to deal with my ex-husband, whenever I have to um, have hard conversations with people, maybe I went somewhere that just kind of wasn't really energetically aligned with me, or I had an altercation with somebody, or, you know, we just have those feelings that sit with us, you know, I'll be just enjoying my dinner, and then all of a sudden I can recall a negative experience I had with a friend or a family member, and, and then my, my attitude's just wrecked, because I'm recalling something that happened, so sage is the blend you use whenever you just need to purge and clear your energy, and so this one is very herbal, very cleansing. It's got a Bulgarian sage, cedarwood, lavender, hoe wood, marjoram, Roman chamomile, vetiver, sandalwood, vanilla, wild orange, lemon, and basil. And so all of these are very amplifying, very cleansing essential oils. It's infused with carnelian, amethyst, and citrine. And the main uses for this one are to remove negative energy, to protect your energetic body and your aura, and to cleanse and renew the spirit. And I think a lot of us um, have to deal with 
people who are really negative, maybe at work or um, in-laws or extended family, or, you know, you just have a, a bad interaction with somebody on the road. We all just need a way to let things go. And sage is the blend for that. It's very powerful, um, especially if you're a healer, if you work in any kind of, um, you know, retail, maybe you're, you work with um, people in a salon or in a spa and you're just really working closely with people, you're a therapist, um, you know, whatever the case may be, we all need a way to remove and let go of the energies that don't serve us anymore. And so the affirmations with this one are, my mind is clear and open. Um, I let wisdom flow through me. I am closer to my true self every day and I trust and know my path. And so this is a really great one when you just need an energetic reset. And then we have warrior. Warrior is... Probably I have my greatest appreciation for this one. Um, this is our strengthening blend. This is courage in a bottle. This is the one that gives you the real big pep in your step. Um, it's, you know, when you want to feel like you are unstoppable, unbreakable, it's a really powerful and stimulating blend of peppermint, black spruce, cassia, lavender, sweet gum, rosemary, wild orange, spearmint, and neroli. And this one's infused with carnelian and citrine. And its main uses are emotional strength, enhancing courage and determination, and helping you overcome challenges. Um, and my personal share with this one, and the thing that I, I think I'm <clears throat> most proud of with this blend is many of you who do follow me know that I shattered my leg really bad this year on April 1st. Um, I was in a BMX race and I was intentionally crashed and uh, my leg just got smashed between my pedal and the, the frame of my bike. And I ended up having to have emergency surgery with nine screws and a plate. And I've never broken a bone in my entire life. <laughs> and so here I am at 36 in a wheelchair um, for the first time ever. I I wasn't able to do any weight bearing activities for eight weeks, but I was walking in five and a half with this blend. Um, I was able to get off pain medicine in two days with this blend. I was able to get upstairs with this blend, scooting up each every step, showering with a walker. I was able to go for walks and hikes. And then pretty soon I was transitioning to crutches, to no crutches, to doing jogging back on my bike running, squatting, golfing. I'm doing everything I was before. And most people with the extensive, um, I shattered my tibial plateau and I broke my um, bones front and back of uh, my tibia. So most people with that injury takes them at least a year and a half to resume normal life activities. And I was moving and grooving in, in six weeks. So I used warrior every time I needed some encouragement, every time I felt bad about myself and I started to throw a pity party every time that something seemed too hard or too impossible or too challenging. I use this blend and it got me going and it kept me going. And it's been monumental um, for my progression. I don't think I would have been this far this fast without Warrior. And it's the perfect blend for people that just need some more backbone and need some more encouragement and need to overcome the challenges of life because Lord knows we all have them. And um, I'm really grateful <clears throat> for this blend because I don't know where I would be in my healing journey after that um, really horrific injury without it. And so um, I used all of them while I was recovering, but Warrior was the one that I relied on because it was much easier to keep going and to press on with a little motivation than to have a pity party for myself for too long. So I have a special place in my heart for Warrior just because of all we've been through together, but it's very feisty, very, <laughs> it really wakes you up. Um, the men really love this one too, especially if you've got a long commute or maybe you have um, a big project you don't want to tackle like uh, gardening or home improvement or, you know, for me it's taxes. Um, I use Warrior whenever I just need to get stuff done and it's very effective. Then we have um, our second to last blend is Empath. This is my first blend that really um, was the one that decided I was going to do a whole line because for a lot of people, if you don't know this about yourself, um, empaths tend to prefer animals over people. They need to recharge after social interactions. You feel things very deeply. So a commercial, a song, a movie, a book, um, can hit your feelings really hard and linger with you. 
Um, an empath is someone that you feel comfortable sharing your traumas with, your stories with. Um, you may find that people open up to you very quickly if you're an empath. You can take on the energy of somebody. Um, my favorite party trick is whenever I do markets and I meet people that are empaths like me, we just look at each other in the eyes and just start crying because you can just feel how much emotion is just being carried in that body tending to everybody else but yourself. And the tricky thing about being an empath is that if you don't practice proper boundaries, life gets very overwhelming very fast. And it's hard to see your way through um, normal interactions if you don't have a good system for yourself. The upside to being an empath is that you're very intuitive and that you feel things very deeply. So your joy is more intense than everyone else's joy, but your sorrow is also more intense than everyone else's sorrow. And so if you consider yourself an empath and you feel all the feels very deeply and you're someone that um, has a hard time being immersed around a lot of people and you're very energetically sensitive, this blend is a non-negotiable one for me every day. I roll it over my heart. Um, the essential oils in this one, tea tree, geranium, vetiver, marjoram, Douglas fir, and green mandarin, all have energetic balancing and protecting qualities. And this one's infused with amethyst and citrine. So if you're an empath, this is the one I use over my heart every single day, non-negotiable. And I use it again before I go people. Um, so if I have to be at a farmer's market, a family event, if I have any um, teaching engagements, if I have to go present um, for any reason or be a part of an event, I use this one often right before and especially after. And the benefits of this one is it helps protect and shield your energy. It helps you from taking on the energy of others and it creates really powerful energetic boundaries. And the affirmations you can say to yourself when you're using this one are, I am always safe and protected. Um, I receive energy for my highest good. I can create healthy boundaries. This is really hard for me to this day, but saying the words makes it a little bit easier. I honor myself and my feelings, and I am not the energy I feel in the world. And that's probably the hardest thing for empaths is that we feel not only all of the feels, but then we feel responsible for the feelings that we're experiencing. And we feel like it's our job to fix it or mediate or create some kind of, you know, way through for everybody else. And the ironic part is that most of us who are empaths have terrible self-care. We put our needs dead last. So empaths are a specifically um, tender kind of creature, and um, we need to really take care of us first. You can't pour from an empty cup. You need to take care of you, put your life vest, your oxygen mask on first before you help others. And so this is just a really kind way for me to create some good boundaries before I go off and intermingle in the world around me. Oh, and then we pass by and it's so good. The last one in our blend line is safety. And this is our bestseller. This is the one that goes quickest online. This is the one we sell out of every time we <laughs> have a market. And it's because most of us are anxious. A lot of us are having a hard time compartmentalizing our feelings and finding a positive way to process them. And so safety was a blend I created for me, to be honest, because I, I have always struggled with anxious feelings. I've always struggled with um, feeling panicked and fear and um, worried and, and hopeless. And, you know, it's really easy for me to slip into these darker thought processes and um, anxiety is something that's very common and we all need to use as many tools as possible to counteract those feelings when they come up. So this is a really smooth and relaxing blend of black spruce, peppermint, copaiba, rosemary, magnolia, sweet gum, frankincense, blue tansy, blue chamomile, and osmanthus. Um, it's infused with rose quartz and citrine, and this one combats anxious feelings and stress. It's deeply grounding and calming, and it helps balance heightened emotions. So when I use this one, what's particularly, um, and why I actually decided to put the affirmations on the bottle is when you're feeling anxious, it's really hard to center your thoughts. It's um, really easy to run away with the bad ones. It's really easy to let yourself go to those dark corners of your mind um, if you are not leading yourself with love. And so what I, I really um, love about the affirmations is it gives my brain something to focus on. And I'm also going to share with you guys something that I share with people um, whenever I do our markets as well is we have, I have a two-part anxious feeling life hack. And the first one, the first sign of those anxious feelings, I roll safety on 
put on my wrist, over my heart, I smell from my hands, and then I read all of the affirmations. My mind is clear, I am safe. I will find power and I will shine. Um, where there's darkness, that where there's light, these feelings won't last forever. I am safe, secure, and loved. And I give myself some positive things to read and say. And then the second part is the sour candy or eat something sour. Whenever we eat something sour, our brains experience a whole to-do list of, of things they have to accomplish. So our mouth waters, our eyes water, our muscles tighten, our lips purse, our tongue starts searching for something that's not sour. And so you've given your brain just a six item checklist of what it has to do. And it can't think about the anxiety because now it's thinking about the sour. So you've disrupted your brain with the sour. By the time you're done jumbling up your brain and tricking it into not being anxious, the essential oils have kicked in and you are feeling calmer. And now you've said some positive things to yourself and it's much easier to crawl out of that space and that emotional area once you've done those two things, safety and sour. And so I don't go anywhere without safety in my bag um, and some sour candies, just in case I lose it like at Safeway or I you know, get triggered by something or I become noise sensitive or I just feel the urgency to just bolt <laughs> and leave the <laughs> life before oils. I would abandon entire shopping carts at Costco because something would happen and I would feel triggered and I would just need to go. I didn't need to explain it. I would just abandon my entire shopping cart. Um, and being a mom too, right? I have two kids that are 10 and seven. So me not being able to leave the house and function is not conducive to, you know, being a good mom to them. So I bring with me the tools just in case. So I always have safety. I always have holy. I always have empath. Those go with me wherever I go. Um, and I bring sour candies just in case. And safety has been one of the very best tools that I've been able to offer myself and others for uh, combating those anxious feelings that come up. And it's a gorgeous purple color. Purple itself is very healing and it has um, citrine and rose quartz inside, which amplify the oils, repel negative energy, and just pour all kinds of self-love back in. So kind of in closing, essential oils are just a really powerful partner in creating and maintaining our emotional health. And I am really excited that we have the opportunity to share all eight of them with you in person um, at Bobby's store and um, online and just to offer a great little escape from life because we all know life is not easy and we definitely need to have our tools um, available. And, you know, my Grandpa used to say, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And so um, that's what I've done. I've created sort of this little arsenal of healing where I can uh, take with me wherever I go and I can, I can feel prepared no matter what life throws at me. So Kim, it. can you go, can you share your screen and go back two screens? There was a picture of a brain and I wanted to screenshot it, but you went too fast. Sure. This one. Um, yeah. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Got it. Okay. So can you mention, um, many people have picked up your testers and your oils at my store and go, well, where'd all that color go? And so you were telling me that anytime we pick up any doTERRA blend or any of your blends, we need to shake them. Yeah. And, you know, with, um, you know, like vetiver, for example, vetiver is a really thick, heavy oil. If you ever make a blend with vetiver, it just sinks right to the bottom. So when your blends are sitting on a shelf, unless it's the pure essential oil that doesn't require any mixing, those oils are going to settle at different amounts. Um, it's kind of like if you were to not shake up one of my blends and just roll it on, you wouldn't really tr truly get the aroma because the top tones would be sitting at the top. The base notes would be at the base and the midtones would be kind of floating in the middle. And so we have to shake and give all of those blends that we use a good little uh, trip around the world. And so the reason I put the mica in there is to encourage people to shake, is to encourage people to once your roller is colorful, now you know it's ready to go. Because otherwise you're not going to get the same application. It's not going to be consistent and you may only be getting just the top notes, which is not what your body needs. It needs all of it. So, um, yep. Yeah, same thing with the testers. We just give them a good shake. Um, you know, especially in the store, if you see them start to settle, just give them a good shake. And I always instruct people to do, you know, two to three drops on the wrist. That's a really great way to introduce yourself to an essential oil, or you can smell it directly from the bottle, but the dropper makes it really easy 
to try without touching the same roller bottle um, with everybody because Lord knows I've seen all kinds of people. <laughs> Farmers yeah. like <laughs> and then the other thing I noticed is if you're in interior motives and you're using a tester, um, and so the mica has settled and things have settled and you shake it up, I am very sure to squeeze, empty the dropper back in and shake it before I release oils back into that dropper. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... I'm so glad you guys all joined us tonight. What a great class, Kim. It was fabulous. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? And yes, Elise, Elise, we're talking doTERRA oil. She said she missed the beginning. Yes. Kim yeah, is. You know, just because of some of the policy stuff, I can't list that on the blends that I make. But, you know, doTERRA is the only company that goes through 54 types of testing before bottling. They've never failed a purity test. I love the transparency. I love that the company leads with science and efficacy. I love that, you know, we are in good hands. And I always tell people, if you want an epic oil experience, you have to use epic essential oils. And there is nobody that's able to create, cultivate, maintain, and support um, the essential oil industry like doTERRA does. And they, I've tried every blend, um, manufacturer at every, you know, essential oil company before I found doTERRA. And I just was, I used to be a massage therapist. I used to have the, you know, the now brand of essential oils or the Akasha Pure ones. I would go to Whole Foods for essential oils. And, you know, it was just, it's not the same thing. It's, and a lot of them are adulterated, filled with fragrances and synthetics. And so, you know, if you really want to have the experience, you have to go to the best quality ones. Um, and I do sometimes get some flack from people where they say like, oh, well, I get my essential oils from someone that grows their own lavender. And that is well and great. And I really think that's awesome. But that doesn't mean that they're creating a superior product. They don't actually have the ability to check for, you know, fungus and microbes and parasites and all of the things that doTERRA checks for and mold. So, you know, as much as I would love to, um, support local distillers. I have to go with who I trust. And um, I've been using this company for almost a decade and have never had a bad experience. So um, that's just my preference. And I try to tell people and educate them about essential oil, different companies, so that they know that this is not um, something that didn't have that intention put behind it. So. And so Kim, you are, and you know, whether or not anybody wants to know or not, you're a diamond or a blue diamond or something. <laughs> I was a blue diamond once upon a time. Um, you know, we made it up to the top 2% of leaders in the company, but okay. you know, like all things, what yeah. goes up must come down. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're happily mostly diamond, sometimes gold team, but it's really about the impact. Right. I mean, I think a right. lot of us have, felt, right. mm -hmm. we've all felt the impact of, um, mm -hmm. you know, the pandemic and, and just how things have changed and where people have shifted and, um, you know, I, I will forever promote natural healing and natural wellness and doTERRA is on the forefront of that always. So I feel grateful to be a part of the company, but I, I do know a lot about essential oils. I have clawed my way up to the top. You know, I have Emily Wright's cell phone number. <laughs> you know, like, I've got, I'm will well known for the company. <laughs> right? <Will you> <laughs> hey, she only calls me when I do something bad. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know, um, I, I I'm well known in the company because I just, I love sharing and I do it yeah. in a unique way that's, that's very against the grain because that's my nature. Yeah. And so I have to say that if you, um, I believe everybody on this call has a doTERRA membership and doTERRA has their own YouTube channel and Facebook page. And you actually, when you go to doTERRA.com and you go down to some of the business recordings, you will see Kim Alexander, maybe in 19 or 2018 or 19. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I ran across one of your presentations at leadership and then maybe at convention, but Kim, you can see on the business recordings at doTERRA.com. So yeah. So we do appreciate your time and thank you so much for joining us. Are there any other questions or comments? I answered. I'm excited for you guys to try them. I feel like um, 
And this is what's kind of crazy. You know, I release a new blend every month. Nobody gets to sample it. No one gets to smell it. And nobody has any idea what it's like in real life. And they sell out in two days. And I've got them coming to my store. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think what's great about that is that you know, there's a real, there's a real desire for these. And I know a lot of the people that I, you know, have been online customers with when I'm, when my shop is closed, it's really just open those two days a month. And then I'm in production mode, fulfilling wholesale accounts and blend orders. So I don't have a shop that's open 24 mm seven. -hmm. So when someone's out of something, I can't help them, you know, and if they, I had a lady message me and she was like, oh my gosh, my, I left all of my essential oils in my hotel room in another <laughs> state. I don't have them. And, you know, I made a special exception for her, but it, it's so nice that people will have a, you know, a way to come and like get oils from you that they may need. And especially when something works for you, like if you, if you jump into a routine with safety and you really feel the effects of how much better and more confident you feel than calm you feel, you know, we can't be without those things. So having a physical location is just really amazing. And it's a great way to serve people. And, you know, we're in the season of, of gifts and thinking about others. And it's just a, a really awesome way to, to show your affection for somebody or to take care of yourself. You know, I tell a lot of my friends, Hey, treat yourself. Like it's, it's Christmas time, whatever. Why don't you get your list taken care of? And then everybody else's list. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I noticed that my sister Vicki is unmuted. I don't know if she has a question. No, I was just going to say, thanks. This was great. Oh, you're welcome. I, I'm, I'm empath. <laughs> I am empath all the way. It's my number one in the strengths finder thing. So nice. yeah, it's hard. It's really, it's challenging to be an empath, but also so beautiful too, right? Like I, oh yeah, absolutely. I, just, I know there's it's good to be an older empath. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. You know Vicki, we, we are almost twice Kim's age when she mentioned her age. <laughs> uh, heck, I figured I was three times her age, for goodness sakes. Well, you guys don't look it. And, you know, I'm already yeah. trying to settle into my retired years. I want to live in the forest all by myself. I, I don't want to see anybody. I just want all the animals. <laughs> you know I mean? Life is better okay. in the woods. So, Kim, yeah. Kim, do you know um, Dr. Goff and Ruth, his wife? Oh, yes. They're okay. phenomenal humans. Okay. So they now live in Vicky's backyard, which is. Yeah, they, I, I'm pointing. They live three blocks that way. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. I would be sneaking over there all the time. They're brilliant. They, they moved into my neighborhood. It's pretty wow. Cool. That's kind of exciting. exciting. We ran into them at convention and of course got our picture taken and he told us that he was no longer in Aberdeen, but now in Sioux Falls, but driving to Yankton. And I'm like, she says, oh, you know, we just live out by the high school. And I said, well, that's where my sister lives also. And Vicky's backyard is a forest and theirs is also. You know? I love it. That's so cool. We, that's the fun part about living in the forest is you can have neighbors, but you'd never see them. Like we, right. I have some, but you know. Unless they're walking up to my property, but we have like, you know, big, scary dogs and <laughs> shotguns. So nobody comes up, you know, willy nilly. Uh, it's just my, it's a different life in the woods, you know. Just, just, you my, know. my woods is probably tinier than your woods. It's yeah, probably. A little yeah. bit of woods, but okay, I'm only but on it feels acre. like the woods. So. It does. It's uh, I'm on about a half an acre. <laughs> so, yeah, you're you're way woodier than me. I, if I could have it per like perfect play, I'd be on like 200 acres on an Island and there'd be nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I see Candace left us. I was going to ask her if she had any questions since she's got kind of a science background, but she did leave us. Mm -hmm. um, Sharon is in the medical profession. Do you have any specific questions? I think I'm going to hop off. Thank okay. You so much. Okay. Well, I thanks will, for joining I good, us. Good to meet you and talk to you soon. Nice okay. to meet you. Too. Bye. Sharon no, I, no, I don't have any specific questions other than where do I get some for my own self? Yes. At yeah. my store. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so I wasn't sure. I didn't know if you I got them all. Mm -hmm. Samples. Oh, awesome. no, I've got them all. And I'm trying oh. to figure out how to quit recording this, you guys. Does anybody know? <laughs> yeah, if you click the 
um, the bottom button where you hit record, you can hit stop down there or at the top. I think you can also. Pause I definitely 